Hello, air sign and fire sign people. Welcome to your Thursday, Friday, Saturday astrology for the week of November 21st, 2021. All you have to do is click on the down bar or go to the comment section, find the timestamp for your zodiac sign, click on it, and it will go directly to the part of the video that you need to be listening to. Thank you. Hello, kings and queens. E. Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. Thank you for tuning in for the Thursday, Friday, Saturday astrology for the week of November 21st, 2021. Guys, I want you to check out Treasures and Spoils. Latoya Chandler, Mental Chatter Musings Spotlight for the month of November, is actually having a Black Friday sale. Treasures and Spoils has a the perfect candle for every season and every occasion. So definitely skip the lines and check out treasuresandspoils.com. You can also check out any of her novels everywhere books are sold. Now for the month of December, we will be spotlighting none other than Lajil Hunt. It's going to be a perfectly fine Christmas. If you have not picked up the novel yet, be sure to do so and to leave a review. It is the bookish thing to do. If you have not checked out my psychological thriller, my newest psychological thriller, Deadliest Intuition, now's the time. Leave a review on Amazon. I would greatly appreciate it and enjoy the entertainment. Now on Tuesday, you can check out Diverse Shelves on Clubhouse at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where they discuss all new releases. It's an open forum, so come on over on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and talk about the novels you're excited about reading. Freestyle Friday with the Facebook group ICU Reading and Chatting goes down every Friday on Facebook. If you'd actually like to become an artist in Freestyle Friday, contact Ebony Evans. She is the president of ICU Reading and Chatting Book Club. And if you're on YouTube and you are a reader, stop on over to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. He leaves wonderful reviews that are not only candid, but informative. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the astrology. Hello, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign people. Welcome to the astrology portion of your horoscope for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the week of November 21st. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know you appreciate the content that I'm putting out. Let's get into it. So on Thursday, the 25th, the sun enters Sagittarius at three degrees. If you have any placements between zero and six degrees, the energies are prompting limitations. Everything has limits. So you really want to look at what yours are. Now, you can, of course, aspire for more. This is in your area of romance, creative endeavors, and children. You could actually rise in the ranks today, you know, as far as your creative endeavors, as far as your children, even as far as your romantic partner. Now, if you do, then I would think you have placements between uh, zero and six degrees of Sagittarius, Leo or Aries, and that would be you rising in the ranks through a creative endeavor, maybe uh, due to someone at a distance from you. Maybe it's requiring your travel. Um, it's definitely because of you utilizing your education and skills, what you think and preach, maybe even your morals or your spirituality. Um, this could pertain to children, a lover, or a creative endeavor, if this is a blessing. Now, if this is assistance and opportunities coming to you, and that's how you're rising through the ranks, it's going to be through your networks of people, maybe even communicating with your sibling. Um, I would say maybe a neighbor, uh, even. Uh, uh, you know what? That third house, I never really say it, but that's sales as well. So you could also be rising in the ranks uh, with one of your creative endeavors in sales. Okay. Um, in addition to that, so it will be Libra or Aquarius as well between zero and six degrees. Libra uh, is about communication, siblings, short distance travel, your networks of people. So it could cause for you to have to travel. Like I said, even a short distance. Um, know your limitations if you are, um, you know, traveling, especially with where money is concerned. 
um, your relationships in Aquarius could show up for you and help you to rise in the ranks, whether it's a romantic partner, someone within a creative sphere or a child assisting you. But just make sure that you know your limits as it pertains to your sectors of Virgo and Pisces, because if you have placements between zero and six degrees there, then that's going to be talking about your money and your resources or shared finances endings, new beginnings, things you're passionate about, sex and intimacy. You need to know your limits as it pertains to that Virgo and Pisces area, okay? Now, moving along, also on Thursday, the moon in your sign at 11 degrees is going to square Uranus and Taurus at 11 degrees. So if you have placements between 8 and 14 degrees, a shocking challenge to your worth can surface in some way. Um, someone could be trying to affect your peace um, or maybe someone needs your help. Maybe you find yourself putting in a lot of extra effort and working um, for that area of Leo to, to enhance your first impressions, to enhance your soul, to enhance your ego as it pertains to career. So you could find yourself working hard or there could be some sort of a, a, a shock that, uh, you know, hampers your worth. It could be either one because a square is either challenges or you just putting extra energy in. Now, Venus on Thursday in Capricorn at 17 degrees is going to sextile Mars and Scorpio at 17 degrees. So an opportunity or some kind of assistance through challenges arises. Don't do anything that will compromise your morals or your good character, okay? Because sooner or later, you'll be found out. And this is a degree of violence as well. So you want to be cool. You don't want to be out and about getting into any arguments or fights with your lover. You don't want to be fighting anyone over money. This is your area of work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others. So you don't want to, during your daily routines, get into it with someone. Okay, or while you're working or being of service to someone, this is the degree of small pets as well. Um, you know, just in case you're walking down the street past a pit bull or something like that, you don't want to antagonize it. Anyway, Scorpio is your area of home and family, so you're having a good time with home and family here. And um, even though this is assistance or opportunities helping you through some challenges. Um, maybe even you got into an argument before. Remember that uh, moon in Leo where you had that square with Uranus. If you had an argument before and it had to do with someone in home and family, maybe this is where somebody is coming in to assist you or to help you. Okay. Like I said, just make sure that you don't uh, go out having a good time and do something that, you know, you really shouldn't be doing. Okay, so check your chart to see if you have placements between 14 and 20 degrees of Capricorn or Scorpio. Now on Friday, the sun is in Sagittarius at four degrees. This is an angle of friction or even detachment for couples. You need to make that connection with your partner, communicate and find a common ground. If there is no common ground, then it's time to rethink the relationship. This is your area of romance, creative endeavors and children. So this is your relationship with your children, your relationship with your romantic partner, or your relationship within your creative endeavors like play and things like that. Now, the areas that square that area are Virgo and Pisces, okay? Um, this It could be about things you're passionate about, you know, that you're not connecting. It could be about sex and intimacy where you're not connecting. You know, that's your area of Pisces. It's your, it could be your area of shared finances where you're not connecting. You're not uh, the endings and new beginnings you're trying to create. Maybe you just are not vibing on the same level with someone, whether it's a lover, someone within a creative sphere, someone you're hanging out with, or even a child. You could even be have differences in, in um, not really arguments, but, you know, with money, uh, tension or disagreements about money or resources. Um, so you want to be mindful of that. If you have placements in Sagittarius between one and seven degrees, that's aspecting for you on Friday. Now, also on Friday, Saturn at eight degrees and Aquarius sextiles Chiron and Aries at eight degrees. So an opportunity or some kind of assistance to heal through or from a restriction or responsibility will surface. And this is a, a, a point where your duties can't be shirked. OK, this is where you need to make sure you display, you know, some some tenacity. If you have placements between 5 and 11 degrees of Aquarius or Aries, you can see some type of opportunity or assistance to heal a relationships, a relationship, maybe through long distance travel, maybe through what you think and preach, you know, using your education and skills, uh, using your spirituality, your morals. But either way, this is a, a chance where you can make 
you can heal a relationship, you know, here on Friday. Now, the moon in Leo at 24 degrees makes a faded aspect to Pluto and Cap and Capricorn at 24 degrees. So a transformation is not only on the mind, but it's prompted at this degree. The transformation that you're trying to make in the area of work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others is directly aspecting you. Okay, you could be working really hard uh, at work during your daily rout routines where you're of service to other people. Don't get upset if you don't get the recognition you feel you deserve, you know, because it could be short lived anyway. So if you have placements between 21 and 27 degrees of Leo or Capricorn, that's aspecting you. Now, on Saturday, there's several, uh, ch there's a few transits that connect that I want to talk to you about. And they're all about Sagittarius at five degrees. The sun is in Sagittarius at five degrees. Vesta uh, couples with um, the sun in Sagittarius at five degrees. And Mercury also couples there at five degrees, okay? So this is a great day to tap into your creativity. It's a great angle for authors and artists to make your talents work for you. There is value in you. Don't allow someone else to reap all of the benefits, okay? Allow your entrepreneurship to shine on this day, on Saturday, okay? Um, but some good communication could come your way about the hard work you've been putting in. If you have placements, I would say between two and eight degrees of Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Libra, or Aquarius. Libra and Aquarius are your angles of opportunities and assistance. Leo and Aries are your uh, sectors of blessings as it pertains to this area of romance, creative endeavors, and children. So this is where you've been putting in the work and you can see that rise, whether it's with your children, whether it's with your lover, or whether it's about creative endeavors, okay? The blessings that could come in through your sector of Aries would be, you know, at a distance from you, or maybe you're traveling to receive those. Maybe you traveling is the blessing and the communication is great. What you think and preach is bringing in these blessings, your morals, your spirituality, that's bringing these blessings in. If it's assistance and opportunities coming into you through a romantic partner or a child or even a creative endeavor, it's going to be through communication coming through your siblings. Um, maybe they're assisting you, your neighbors, someone in your networks of people could be assisting you. It could even be about neighborhoods that you're seeing this, this shine. Your, some of your relationships are really showing up for you and bringing some type of help to you and uh, allowing you to shine a light on yourself, okay? If you have placements in any of those signs between two and eight degrees. Now, the moon in Virgo at eight degrees mm, will make a faded aspect to Saturn and Aquarius at eight degrees. So there's a restriction and responsibility <clears throat> that surfaces or that's already been placed on you, but it's somehow meant to happen because this is a faded aspect and this is about your money and your resources. So one of your relationships is putting this restriction or responsibility on you. And you could find yourself working for someone and you're going to make some money or enhance your resources. Yeah, you might be dealing with somebody that's a little dishonest or maybe they're not telling you everything. But you're a sucker for a, if you're a sucker for a damsel in distress, no matter the sexual orientation, this definitely could be aspecting you if you have those placements in Aquarius or Virgo between 5 and 11 degrees. Now, around 3 or 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon in Virgo at 10 degrees is going to square Pisces and Pallas at 10 degrees. So if you have placements between 7 to 13 degrees of Virgo or Pisces in your chart, this is where you're going to be putting more energy in to be of service to others. I'm hoping this is not going to be blockages in your creativity um, or blockages in your shared finances and making shared finances creating the endings and new beginnings you want, blockages with sex and intimacy, or blockages with things that you're passionate about as it pertains to money. Okay, both of these are about money for you. Um, there are slanderers waiting to prove you wrong, okay, about your worth and about your money, about your creativity, about your talents. So make sure you keep things on the up and up. Make sure you work hard to do what you have to do to garner that money, to to uh, create the endings and new beginnings you want, to work on the things you're passionate about, even if it's just sex and intimacy with your partner, okay? God bless you and stay tuned for the tarot portion. I've attached it just in case you need to listen to it again. Hello, Leo. Some on a rising sign people. E. Ray Taronic here with the tarot portion of your reading for the week of November 21st. Okay, so 
let's look at what you got. First of all, permeating your reading, you got the sun card, which is beautiful because the sun card, you're ruled by the sun card. This is you showing up and shining bright this week. Okay, you're feeling good. You're feeling positive. Um, looks like most times. <laughs> um, but this is what's permeating your week. Now, you're looking at your investments or what you've invested in something. Maybe you're looking at investments so that you can use them to bring in some type of overwhelming feeling of emotion, uh, some feeling of uh, fulfillment, because that, you know, the Ace of Cups talks about some type of overwhelming, strong emotion, whether it's love, um, fulfillment. Um, for some, it's, it could be pregnancy and childbirth. But regardless, you're looking at your investments or what you've invested maybe even in a love or something that brings you uh, overwhelming emotion and fulfillment okay um, you're pl you're continuing to move toward that you're plotting forward toward that you're not stopping this is about routine success and efficiency you're going to continue down the path you're going down and you're going to continue working now fast communication is coming your way from at a distance from you either that or you're traveling and you have a lot of different choices to pick from but I'm thinking this is more about something at a distance from you some type of fast communication coming your way giving you a lot of options now all the options at your disposal you have at your disposal won't give you what you want so don't be too fanciful as to your choices that you have in front of you you're submitting yourself at the top of a hill because of this maybe because of this news you're getting it's causing you to submit yourself at the top of a hill and go through some whether some type of test of faith okay because that's what that seven of wands talks about you going through some type of test of faith a challenge you persevering over a long stretch of time with this information coming to you or this travel coming to you or this person at a distance from you communicating with you now You've got the King of Pentacles aspect, which is wonderful. That's about security. That's about abundance. That's about bringing some type of security and abundance into you as far as employment, business, or property. You've got the Wheel of Fortune. So the wheel is spinning your way in a positive direction. In order to keep the wheel spinning in a positive direction, you have to be positive, remain positive. This is about bringing in that, that security abundance into you within a creative relationship or some type of collaboration that involves three or more people and some money coming your way. There's some type of decision being made. It was something you were waiting on. Um, you were waiting on some type of decision to be made. It's, it's either that or there is some type of truce within a partnership. Well, it could be a creative partnership, but it's like three or more people. Some type of truce is aspecting and coming in uh, to you. And because of this truce coming in, it's spinning the wheel in your favor and it's bringing some type of security, abundance, or uh, money your way, uh, or good news regarding employment. Now, your challenge and advice is aspecting this communication. It's aspecting some sort of communication coming your way. Um, or you using you your skill, using utilizing your skills, but you have all the tools you need at your disposal to create what it is you want to create, but you definitely need to utilize your skills and communicate. Your challenge is either a Capricorn person or a misdirected passion, or you investing money or 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 time or effort into the wrong person for short-term gain you're plotting forward towards something but you got a lot of choices at your disposal and you don't need to be fanciful as to those choices you need to make sure that you're making the right decisions okay you need to make sure that you're investing in the right people you need to make sure that you're not letting greed overpower you or uh, um, uh, um or a relationship that aspects that greed Okay, so just be very mindful um, of that. You know, make sure you're putting in the work, using, utilizing your skill. Utilize your skills. Don't, don't worry about somebody else and don't invest in somebody else. Invest in your own skills, okay? Your advice is to 
and uh, it's to, to attend to your deeper needs to bring in your happy family maybe even attending to the deeper needs of your family that's around you okay listen to your intuition and let the heart lead as opposed to the mind when it comes to your happy family when it comes to cultivating the happiness you want within your family and go through that death and rebirth period and and make yourself anew you know whether it's with family or within a home-based business it's time for you to have that ending and end the things that are no longer serving you and bring forward the things that are and nurture the things that are okay and your intuition will tell you what you need to be nurturing i like this reading for us god bless you leo and uh, i'll see you guys next week bye now hello kings and queens e ray Taronic here Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers, as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. Thank you for tuning in for the Thursday, Friday, Saturday Astrology for the week of November 21st, 2021. Guys, I want you to check out Treasures and Spoils. LaToya Chandler, Mental Chatter Musings Spotlight for the month of November, is actually having a Black Friday sale. Treasures and Spoils has a the perfect candle for every season and every occasion. So definitely skip the lines and check out treasuresandspoils.com. You can also check out any of her novels everywhere books are sold. Now for the month of December, we will be spotlighting none other than Lajeel Hunt. It's going to be a perfectly fine Christmas. If you have not picked up the novel yet, be sure to do so and to leave a review. It is the bookish thing to do. If you have not checked out my psychological thriller, my newest psychological thriller, Deadliest Intuition, now's the time. Leave a review on Amazon. I would greatly appreciate it and enjoy the entertainment. Now on Tuesday, you can check out Diverse Shelves on Clubhouse at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where they discuss all new releases. It's an open forum, so come on over on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and talk about the novels you're excited about reading. Freestyle Friday with the Facebook group ICU Reading and Chatting goes down every Friday on Facebook. If you'd actually like to become an artist in Freestyle Friday, contact Ebony Evans. She is the president of ICU Reading and Chatting Book Club. And if you're on YouTube and you are a reader, stop on over to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. He leaves wonderful reviews that are not only candid, but informative. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the astrology. Hello, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people. E. Ray Taronic here with the astrology portion of your reading for the week of November 21st, 2021. And this is going to be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday astrology. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know you appreciate the content that I am putting out. Now, on Thursday, the 25th, the sun enters Sagittarius at three degrees. Okay, if you have any placements between zero and six degrees, the energies are prompting you to know your limitations. Okay, and for you, this is about knowing your limitations as far as long distance travel, education and skills, um, what you think, what you preach. Um, everything has its limits. You know, but you can aspire for more. Someone could be looking at a rise in the ranks today, and it could be you if you have placements between zero and six degrees of Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Okay, and if you rise in the ranks, this could be about your self expression, this could be about your first impressions, this could be about your, um, your uh, appearances, yourself, your ego, your soul, uh, rising in the ranks through romance rising in the ranks in creative endeavors or self-expression rising in the ranks with your children if you have placements in leo rising in the ranks with what you think and preacher might cause for you to travel as well but you could rise in the ranks if you have those placements between zero and six degrees if you have placements in libra or aquarius as well you could find find yourself rising in the ranks because that's your area of assistance and opportunity and if you do it's going to be because of friends and social groups helping you to expand your reach your relationships showing up for you if you have those placements between zero and six degrees okay 
Now the moon in Leo at 11 degrees squares Uranus and Taurus at 11 degrees. So uh, if you have placements in Leo or Taurus between 8 and 14 degrees, a shocking challenge to your worth could surface in some way. And this is about a challenge or a shocking challenge to your money or your resources in some way. Um, something is coming to affect your peace or it might be that somebody needs some help. For you, your area of Leo is romance, creative endeavors, and children. So it could be a child, a romantic partner, or someone within a creative endeavor that needs some money. And you have to pop up and pay some money out. If not, it could be that you're working really hard to increase your worth and your money through a creative endeavor. Okay? Or you're trying to increase your worth with a lover or with a child. Okay? Now... Uh, mm -hmm. Venus and Capricorn at 17 degrees is going to sextile Mars and Scorpio at 17 degrees. So if you have any placements between 14 and 20 degrees of Capricorn or Scorpio, this is aspecting you an opportunity or some assistance to, uh, arise through challenges comes up for you okay don't do anything though that will compromise your morals or your good character because sooner or later you're going to be found out now this is a degree of violence as well so you want to be cool okay don't trip out um uh, Capricorn is career and mastery for you. So you could be making money through through something that you master through career. You could be garnering shared finances because Scorpio is about shared finances for you. You could be creating the endings and new beginnings that you want. You could be um, uh, working on your passions, bringing in money. You could be out having fun. This could be about sex and intimacy as well. So like I said, don't compromise your morals, even if you have the opportunity to, you know, as far as sex and intimacy because things could get violent if you have placements between that 14 and 20 degrees of Capricorn or Scorpio. Now on Friday, the sun is in Sagittarius at four degrees. This is an angle of friction or even detachment for couples. Make a connection with your partner if need be because communication could be hard to find a common ground there. Now, if you can't find a common ground, it's time for you to rethink the partnership or the relationship. If you have placements between, I'd say one and seven degrees of Sagittarius, uh, I'd say Pisces and Virgo as well, maybe even Gemini. Gemini directly aspects this area. Uh, Pisces and Virgo square that area. So that's where you can have challenges in the background because of what you think and preach. Um, uh, people disagreeing with you, people at work arguing with you or disagreeing with you. Um, your partnerships in health. Maybe you, you need to see a different doctor and it's good. You know, maybe you're traveling too far to go to this doctor and you need to change your doctor. Maybe your daily habits aren't vibing with, um, you know, your morals or uh, someone at a distance from you. Um, it, it, closure and spirituality also square this area. So it, with someone at a distance from you, maybe you're lacking closure. Maybe you're lacking healing. Maybe you can't create the endings that you want. It could also be a sibling or a neighbor or someone in your networks of people that you're having communication errors with, that you're not vibing with communication. Maybe you're, uh, maybe it's travel. Whoever you're partnering with, with travel, maybe you need to change some things up with that. You know, it could be your car dealership it could be your um plane if you're catching a plane maybe you need to you know some of you are, are taking a plane and that plane cancels the flights and you got to switch over because travel is aspected here too and when you travel and you get a plane ticket you're basically partnering with that plane you're paying money and and for them to take you somewhere you know so that's a partnership or some type of collaboration so you want to look at all of those angles to see if you have placements between one and seven degrees because you might want to rethink those partnerships or look at them to see you know what needs to be changed now also on friday uh, saturn at eight degrees aquarius is going to sextile chiron and aries at eight degrees so an opportunity or some kind of assistance to heal through or from a restriction or responsibility will surface and this is where your duties shouldn't be shirked um you know, or where you didn't shirk your duties and you showed great tenacity and now you're getting this opportunity or assistance coming into you. Now, if you have placements between Aquarius and Aries between five and 11 degrees, you can expect that some friend or some people, someone in a social group may be helping you to accomplish a goal. Okay. Maybe they're helping you to, because of the work you've put in, maybe they're helping you uh, to, in, to um, make yourself look better. 
your first impressions, your ego, your soul. That could be aspecting for you, that healing. Now, the moon in, in Leo on Friday at 24 degrees is going to make a faded aspect to Pluto and Capricorn at 24 degrees. So a transformation is not only on the mind, but it's prompted here at this degree. You could be working really hard on this day as it pertains to your career and mastery and what you're trying to create there, what you're trying to evolve there, what you're trying to change there. Don't get upset if you don't get the recognition you feel you deserve because it could be short lived anyway. Your area of romance, creative endeavors, and children directly aspects this area. So whatever you master with a romantic partner, whatever you master in, in, in your creative endeavors as far as career, whatever you master as far as uh, with your children, you know, you might not get the recognition you want if you have placements between 21 and 27 degrees, but you're going to still have to work hard, okay? Now, on Saturday, there's a few placements that all kind of connect together, and I want to go through those first. The sun will be in Sagittarius at five degrees, but so will Vesta, and it will couple with the sun, and so will Mercury, and it will couple with the sun and Vesta. So that means this is great communication coming into you, and it's gr a great angle for artists, for authors and researchers, um, a great day for you to tap into your creativity. There's value in you, but you want to make sure that you're reaping the benefits as well as the other people that are helping you. You want to allow your entrepreneurship to, to shine. You know, you don't want everybody taking and reaping the benefits off of your work. So be mindful of that because you're going to have some goodness coming into you. It, I would say if you have placements between two and eight degrees of Sagittarius, Leo or Aries, or even your areas of assistance of, and opportunity, which are Libra and uh, Aquarius. So like I said before, it could be someone within a social group helping you expand your reach with what you think and preach, your education and skills, your morals. This could be someone at a distance from you helping you. Your relationships uh, area in the area of Libra can really show up for you. If it's a blessing, it's going to be through a romantic partner or a creative endeavor or out when you're having fun. It could have to do with a child as well, but it's still got to do with long distance travel or someone at a distance from you. It has to do with your education and skills, what you think and preach, your morals or your spirituality. And this is all going to make you look better. It's going to make you feel better. It's going to make your first impression shine if you have placements between two and eight degrees, of course. Now on a uh, also on Saturday, the moon in Virgo at eight degrees uh, will make a faded aspect to Saturn and Aquarius at eight degrees. So if you have placements in Virgo or Aquarius between five and 11 degrees, this is a restriction or responsibility that surfaces, but it's somehow meant to surface. OK, you could find yourself working for someone uh, a little bit dishonest here. It could be a friend or someone within a social group, um, but you might be a sucker for a damsel in distress. So you're going to help them anyway, okay? You're going to be of service to them because um, it's aspecting work, health, daily routines and where you are of service to others. You could be doing this during your daily routines. Around 3 or 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, the moon in Virgo at 10 degrees is going to square Pisces and Pallas at 10 degrees. So this is where you're putting a lot of energy in being of service to someone, but hopefully you're not having any issues or blockages to your talents or creativity. You want to get things done here because slanderers are already on the outs making sure that 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 you know that you don't make it or that you're proven wrong okay and these are people in your area of work health daily routines and where you are of service to other people and they're squaring you behind the scene well they're not squaring you but they're directly aspecting you behind the scenes with um in your area of healing closure spirituality you know they're talking about you behind your back they're gossiping about you trying to hamper your closure or your healing all right. So you want to just be mindful that that could be going on. So put as much energy as you can into work, health, daily routines and where you are of service to others so you don't get caught up. OK, God bless you. Um, the tarot portion is connected and it's coming up next. Um, I'll see you over there. Hello, Aries. I'm on a rising sign people. E. Ray Taronic here with your tarot portion of your reading for the week of November 21st. So your week is permeated, looks to be permeated by the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords talks about either a, a decision that needs to be made or either there's a um, some type of peace restored within a partnership, 
okay, um, where there was turmoil or disharmony before. So this is what is permeating your reading. Now you got the you got a lot of pentacles out here. You got the ace of pentacles out here, first of all. Um, so you've got it out here twice. So this week, you are definitely manifesting something. But let's talk about your cards. The The first card you got, um, the first set of cards you got, was the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles talks about creativity. It talks about teamwork. Um, it also either talks about raising among the ranks, um, among your peers, and also um, trying to... Um, gain some type of new home or new business location um, or productivity. This is what you're forging toward. Now you're at the 10 of wands with it. Okay. Although you're forging passionately towards that this week, you've done all the hard work. You've put in so much hard work, burden, stress, responsibility is on you and you continue to plot forward. You continue to routinely move toward this rise around the make, rise around, <laughs> why can't I say it? Rise among the ranks um, within your peer group or this new home or business location. This is aspecting you now um, with you continuing to plot toward that. Um, now, you have the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles talks about some sort of manifestation of a new property, a new job, maybe some unearned income coming your way, and you're submitting yourself at the top of a hill to receive this uh, unearned income or this money or this manifestation of this money or a new job coming your way. Now, you have the King of Cups, which means you're emotionally balanced. You're problem solving things. You're being a, a, a strong negotiator and um, you're submitting yourself at the top of a hill. Now, you might find that this week you're kind of distant or lost in your thoughts a little bit, but that's just because you're thinking about, you know, the test of faith you're going through. The fact that you are submitting yourself at the top of a hill, that you are um, taking on the challenge or whatever competition is needed and having the strength to get through it over a long stretch of time. Now, with this Ace of Pentacles aspecting again, because you not only got it once, but you got it twice, which talks about that manifestation of the material success and prosperity that you want to come your way. You're going to have some type of win, some type of public recognition show up this week within a partnership. OK, um, maybe your win or recognition is gaining this partnership this unified love, this relationship, this reconciliation after a rift, um, a happy relationship. This is what you've manifested and you're gaining some type of public recognition or win as to this partnership, okay? Now, your challenge is you moving on or you transitioning after feeling left out in the cold or or, or or you transitioning from this poverty mindset that you have, okay? This is your challenge. Your challenge uh, and advice is permeated by the King of Wands, which means it's telling you to be honorable. It's telling you to, uh, you know, it, it, to be an authority, but also be wise and Offer counsel to those around you, you know, make sure that people around you respect you and enjoy your presence because they do. OK, it's asking you to be compassionate. Now, with this transition of you trying to move from this poverty mindset or this uh, feeling of feeling left out in the cold, um, you have the page of cups. OK, this is your challenge, bringing in your wish fulfillment as to your page of cups and you being vested in your own interests. You know, that's what you're trying to, to grasp, you being vested in your own interest. Now, with this page of cups, the page of cups talks about um, creative new beginnings. And maybe this is the wish fulfillment you're looking for, these creative new beginnings and you being vested in your own interest. If this is about love, okay, um, then... Um, your wish fulfillment is definitely telling you 
you know, it's you being vested in your own interest within a love relationship could be also um, a challenge that you're going through to bring your wish fulfillment forward to the table, which requires grounding. So make sure that you get away from that dreamy, unfocused energy and um, ground your wishes and your aspirations. Okay, you have to put in action to ground those. I would love to see the magician card out here. So I want to see uh, or or even in the uh, emperor card because that means you're really standing in your power okay um now that's your challenge you bringing your wishes to fruition okay um now your challenge i mean your advice is to attend to your deeper needs okay you need to connect to source to attend to your deeper needs connect to yourself and when i say source in this aspect i mean you your soul Okay, take time to take care of yourself. Ask yourself what's wrong with yourself. This is your opportunity to really uh, either give someone a second chance that's around you, a water sign person, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, or this is talking about you making a judgment uh, to attend to your deeper needs, either as a mother, either as a um, a person who is... Uh, uh, fertile and abundant as it's as a person who is um uh, the empress is also a stable for good relationships so maybe this is asking you to give a second chance to a relationship around you okay um, by by even attending to your deeper needs you can't take care of other people unless you take care of yourself first OK, that's very important in order for you to, you know, take care of yourself first. You need to look forward. You need to be prepared as well. Events are going to be speeding up. And if you want to have that expansion and that foresight that you want to have, you need to make sure that you are attending to your deeper needs. OK, and make sure within any relationships, even with this, if it's with a mother figure or you know, someone else around you that is a water sign person, make sure that you are um, looking at the relationship and what you've done uh, may be wrong or where you've been misguided within the relationship and be honest with yourself so that you can move forward, so that you can expand, so that you can um, uh, open yourself up to um creative self-expression and solve whatever problems that you need to solve with uh, a mother figure, your uh, maybe even your child's mother, maybe even just a relationship that you are um, in even as a mother with you and your children. Okay. You want to look at that. God bless you guys. I hope this helped and I'll see you guys next week. Bye now. Hello, kings and queens. E. Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. Thank you for tuning in for the Thursday, Friday, Saturday astrology for the week of November 21st, 2021. Guys, I want you to check out Treasures and Spoils. LaToya Chandler, Mental Chatter Musings Spotlight for the month of November, is actually having a Black Friday sale. Treasures and Spoils has a the perfect candle for every season and every occasion. So definitely skip the lines and check out treasuresandspoils.com. You can also check out any of her novels everywhere books are sold. Now for the month of December, we will be spotlighting none other than LaJill Hunt. It's going to be a perfectly fine Christmas. If you have not picked up the novel yet, be sure to do so and leave a review. It is the bookish thing to do. If you have not checked out my psychological thriller, my newest psychological thriller, Deadliest Intuition, now's the time. Leave a review on Amazon. I would greatly appreciate it and enjoy the entertainment. Now on Tuesday, you can check out Diverse Shelves on Clubhouse at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where they discuss all new releases. It's an open forum, so come on over on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and talk about the novels you're excited about reading. Freestyle Friday with the Facebook group ICU Reading and Chatting goes down every Friday. 
on Facebook. If you'd actually like to become an artist in Freestyle Friday, contact Ebony Evans. She is the president of ICU Reading and Chatting Book Club. And if you're on YouTube and you are a reader, stop on over to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. He leaves wonderful reviews that are not only candid, but informative. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the astrology. Hello, Sagittarius, someone a rising sign people. E. Ray Taranik here with the astrology portion of your reading for Thursday, Friday, Saturday for the week of uh, November 21st, 2021. <laughs> um, okay, so make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know you appreciate the content that I'm putting out. Let's get into it, okay? Now, the sun is going to enter your sign. Well, no, the sun enters three degrees of your sign on Thursday. And the energies are prompting limitations, okay? Your limitations. You got to know your limits. Everything has limits. But you can aspire to be more, to do more, okay? Um, you could be looking at a rise in the ranks on this day somehow. Sagittarius, this is about, if you are having a rise in the ranks, I would think it would be in your area of Aries or Leo, because those are your areas of blessings, and you would be rising the, in the ranks as it pertains to romance, creative endeavors, play, or children. And it would be due to long distance travel or because of someone at a distance from you. It could have to do with your education and skills. It could have to do with what you think and preach. Um... It might even be one of your kids rising in the ranks in school. Um, it could have to do with your morals or your spirituality. If you have those placements between zero and six degrees. Now, if you have placements between zero and six degrees in Aquarius or Libra, you're rising in the ranks because of some assistance afforded to you. Because of someone in your networks of people. Because of, um, I would say, a, a sibling. I would say um, a neighbor. Um, but someone's going to communicate something to you, a friend, someone in a social group, they're going to be helping you to accomplish a goal and that, and they're going to be helping you rise in the ranks. Okay. Now, um, the moon in Leo at 11 degrees is going to square Uranus and Taurus at 11 degrees. So if you have placements between eight to 14 degrees of Leo or Taurus, a shocking challenge to your worth could surface in some way. Something could be coming in that's trying to affect your peace or your money or your resources or um, affect you at work during your daily routines with health where you are of service to other people. Okay. Um, if it's not someone coming to affect your peace or hamper your worth, um, which would be shocking, it's someone helping you, period, you, or you putting in extra energy, okay, in that area. In the area of work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others. This could see you working really hard communicating what you think and preach. Working really hard on your morals, your spirituality. Working really hard where you are um, of service to others, maybe at a distance from you. Um, working really hard, maybe you're traveling. It could be any of those things, but it's going to be a shock to you, okay? Or a surprise, now, Venus in Capricorn at 17 degrees is sextile Mars in Scorpio at 17 degrees. An opportunity or some assistance through a challenge arises. Don't do anything that compromises your morals or your good character, though, because sooner or later, you're going to be found out. And this is a degree of violence as well. So you want to keep it cool, okay? This is about romance, finances, pleasure, as it pertains to your money and your resources. You don't want to be getting into an argument with somebody over your money and your resources, but you might have an opportunity to work behind the scenes and that might make people jealous, you know, or you could have to make a sacrifice and work behind the scenes. And um, maybe you're making money being, like I said, working behind the scenes and making that sacrifice. That money that's going to come in is going to bring you healing. It's going to bring you closure. You just don't want to be fighting with anybody, um, you know, over this or about this or compromising your morals to do this. And then it starts some type of violence. Now, on Friday as well, the sun is in Sagittarius um, at. OK, now we're talking about Friday. <laughs> OK, we were talking about Thursday before. Now we're talking about Friday. The sun is in your sign at four degrees. 
This is an angle of friction or even detachment for couples. Make a connection with your partner. Communicate and find a common ground. If there's no common ground, then it's time to rethink the partnership or the relationship. Your area of Sagittarius squares Virgo and it squares Pisces. So this could be some type of detachment in career or whatever it is you master or a detachment to someone in home and family. What, you know, it could even be a home-based business. It could even be your area of Gemini because that's your area of relationships and it directly aspects uh, you. You know, that's your, your area of opposition. So if you have placements between one and seven degrees of Pisces, Virgo or Gemini, um, you know, you want to look at those partnerships in kind of uh, in career and home and family and home-based businesses and make sure everything is on the up and up. Everything is all good. Okay. Now on Friday, uh, also Saturn at eight degrees Aquarius is going to sextile Chiron and Aries at eight degrees. An opportunity or some kind of assistance to heal through or from a restriction or responsibility will surface. Now, here's where you didn't shirk your duties or where you should not shirk your duties and, and show great tenacity. If you have placements between 5 and 11 degrees and you put in this work and you have placements between 5 and 11 degrees of Aquarius or Aries, this is healing coming into you. Healing coming into you in your romantic partner. Healing coming into you because of your creative endeavors or to your creative endeavors. Healing coming into you and your children or 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 because of a child, okay? And it's because of a restriction or responsibility that's placed on you, maybe around the neighborhood. Maybe it has to do with short distance travel or neighbors. Maybe you have to drive somewhere, take a child somewhere, a lover somewhere, drive with a lover somewhere, take a short trip with them, communicate with someone in your networks of people about a creative endeavor. This is why the healing is coming in, okay? This communication. Now, the moon in Leo at 24 degrees is going to make a faded aspect to Pluto and Capricorn at 24 degrees. So a transformation is not only on the mind, but it's prompted here in your area of money and resources and your worth. You could be working really hard on this day on Friday. but it, So don't get upset if you don't get the recognition you feel you deserve, you know, from people at a distance from you, you know, about your education and skills, about what you think and preach, about your morals. It's okay. It could be short lived anyway but you need to make sure you're still putting in the work and communicating with people at a distance from you or traveling if you need to travel or utilizing your education and skills working on what you think and preach your morals or your spirituality if you have those placements between 21 and 27 degrees of capricorn or leo now on saturday there's a few transits that all connect so i want to talk about those first the sun will be in your sign at five degrees on Saturday and that's a great angle of creativity it's a great angle for artists authors you know um entrepreneurs and things like that this is where you want to make your talents work for you okay there's value in what you do so don't let someone else reap all the benefits Vesta your devotion to the to yourself is going to be on full display here it's going to be on show here Vesta's going to be there. Mercury's going to be there bringing in great communication. They're all going to be coupled at five degrees. Okay. So um, if, if you do see some benefits, make sure you're getting recognition as well. That recognition could come in through your areas of Leo or Aries. Those same areas, romance, creative endeavors and children, because of long distance travel or someone at a distance from you, because of what you think and, and preach, because of your education and skills, your morals or your spirituality. You also could be having good communication come in and it could be due to, um, I'd say, some assistance or opportunity. So if you have placements in, I'd say... Uh, uh, Aquarius or Libra, I'd even say Ver a Gemini because it directly aspects that area. Your relationships, your friends, your the people within social groups will be helping you to accomplish goals. Um, maybe even a sibling assisting you, someone in your networks of people, a neighbor. They're going to be communicating with you and, and, and helping you. Okay, just make sure they're you're getting credit just like they're getting credit. Okay, if this is like a teamwork thing, if you have placements between two and eight degrees of any of those signs that I named, this is aspecting you. Now, on Saturday as well, the moon is in Virgo at eight degrees and it makes a faded aspect to Saturn and Aquarius at eight degrees. This is a restriction or responsibility that surfaces somehow, but it's meant to happen. 
because it's faded. You can find yourself working with someone who's kind of dishonest or maybe they're not telling you everything. Okay. But maybe you're a sucker for sucker for a damsel in distress. You know, I, I know I am. <laughs> so if you have placements between five and 11 degrees of Virgo or Aquarius, there might be some restrictions or responsibilities placed on you due to a sibling, someone in your networks of people or a neighbor. Um, and it's causing you to have to, uh, I'd say work work or help them in career or use whatever it is you master to uh, uh, assist them. But some restriction or responsibility is, is being placed on you. It could even be a Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign person. It doesn't have to be, but it definitely can be. Now, around three or four o'clock, the Moon in Virgo, your area of career and mastery, at 10 degrees is going gonna, is gonna to directly aspect Pisces. OK, in your area of home and family. So this could be about a home based business. If you have placements between seven and 13 degrees of Virgo or Pisces, this is aspecting you. This is where you're putting more energy into being of service to others. You're utilizing your talents in the area of home and family or a home based business. Hopefully you're not having issues or blockages to your creativity or anything like that. But you can really get things done here and you need to because if you don't, slanderers are, are waiting to prove you wrong. All right. So you want to be on the ball on Saturday. The tarot portion is coming up next. I've attached it from the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, God bless you guys. I mean, from the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm sorry. Um, so check it out. It's coming up next. Bye now. Hello, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising Sign people. E. Ray Taronic here with the tarot portion of your reading for the week of November 21st, 2021. I hope um, we got that complete intro. Anyway. Let's get into your week. Your week is permeated by the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords talks about some type of rest, recovery, contemplation, relaxation, um, even passivity. You know, you're taking time to meditate, relax, and just chill out, okay? Now, you got a lot going on. You got, first of all, you're waiting. You're waiting for a decision to be made you got the two of swords here you're hanging upside down you're waiting for this decision to be made you're waiting for this um truce this stalemate this peace and harmony to be restored you have hope that it will okay you have hope that it will be restored and you will either be seen as the empress or this is peace and hope being restored with you in an in an empress type of person maybe it's your mother maybe it's a woman in your family maybe it's um mm, she's uh the empress is an omen for a good relationship as well so maybe this is a decision that needs to be made within a relationship that has been abundant and fruitful for you okay now um you have it looks like you're dealing with trying to balance uh either money or time with new projects and with old projects um you have communication coming into you which is good communication now this could be you putting out communication or communication coming into you because it's the page of wands and that's a fire sign card this is about cautious pr progression discovery there's several things that you need to pay attention to and you need to keep your wits about you because somebody could be coming to you with like information that's real gossipy or flighty and stuff like that and you're trying to make progress and plan for the future and and, and, and make decisions to bring in a reliable partner but you got this gossipy person coming in just giving you more information about a new project or about a new people coming into your life or this might be from a new person that's in your life okay it doesn't have to be a new person it could just be a new project or endeavor that has to do with your time solvency with you balancing time or that's causing you to have to balance money and this information is coming in about the money but it's still like you need to make sure that you pay attention because it might not be on the up and up okay now you have aspecting you as well where you are being vested in your own interests 
and you're creating, you're having the endings, putting to end things and having the new beginnings you need to create to bring in your page of pentacles, which means to bring in some type of financial opportunity, a new job. Um, make sure you stay up on your financial concerns. If you get that information and somebody calls you, whether it's an email, a, a text, a, a phone call, you know, whatever it is about this money, make sure that you don't overspend just because you get this call. Remember, that was a person that's gossipy and flighty. It might not be true. Don't overindulge just because things are doing well. And this is pertaining to your harmony and your celebrations in the home as it pertains to the King of Swords as it pertains to you delegating and you being a, a wise problem solver or it's at per, as it pertains to a family relationship or familial ties that you have with a airy um not aries uh, um aquarius um libra or gemini uh sun moon or rising sign person these harmony and celebrations in the home you're going to get some type of information coming in about some money or you've been invested in your own interests but just make sure that you don't overdo it just because money will just because you feel like okay it's going to come in money's going to be good so now i could just go ahead and spend don't do it because you never know how this person might change their mind okay make sure you're being wise and you're delegating appropriately you're strategizing that's very important for you Sagittarius to strategize don't just take somebody's word for it because your your challenges and advice is permeated by this ace of wands it's permeated by this new information that's coming into you this good news that's advising you to take the risk okay it's some good news coming in success and new plans and it is advising you to take the risk because it is saying that justice will come in for you as it pertains to your stability maybe with this king of swords person uh, aquarius gemini or libra or it's because of your strategizing and you delegating that spinning the wheel in your direction because you're taking the hard work you've done and using it those that stress and burdens to bring in to bring the sun in to bring you in that to bring you out of that feeling of feeling left out in the cold within a business partnership or relationship okay because that's what i'm saying you feel left out in the cold because of this your advice is to persevere through this whether it's through poverty or whether it's through feeling left out in the cold in a relationship some communication is going to come into you okay good communication where you could proceed forward but it's a test of faith again you know it might be somebody giving you the well i want to say that because the cards are saying that 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 it could come into you but just while you're persevering just make sure you're strategizing and you're creating opportunities on your own okay in addition to that your um your your challenge is I mean, and that was your advice, but your challenge is you creating this new beginning, you coming into the sun, you driving forward passionately to bring in what you want to bring in. And that's because you have the eight of cups upside down, aimless drifting, hopelessness, escapism, poor judgment, a relationship could be abandoned due to anxiety, wonderless, or your unwillingness to work through problems, whether personal or, you know, interpersonal. Um, positive opportunities could be ignored, uh, um, which may be regretted later. So be very, very mindful of those, uh, letting those new opportunities pass you by, okay? Um, and uh, just drifting hopelessly and aimlessly. God bless you guys. I hope this helped. Um, I'll see you next week. Bye now. Hello, kings and queens. E. Ray Taronic here. Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers, as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. Thank you for tuning in for the Thursday, Friday, Saturday Astrology for the week of November 21st, 2021. Guys, I want you to check out Treasures and Spoils. LaToya Chandler, Mental Chatter Musings Spotlight for the month of November, is actually having a Black Friday sale. Treasures and Spoils has a the perfect candle for every season and every occasion. So definitely skip the lines and check out treasuresandspoils.com. You can also check out any of her novels everywhere books are sold. Now for the month of December, 
we will be spotlighting none other than LaJill Hunt. It's going to be a perfectly fine Christmas. If you have not picked up the novel yet, be sure to do so and to leave a review. It is the bookish thing to do. If you have not checked out my psychological thriller, my newest psychological thriller, Deadliest Intuition, now's the time. Leave a review on Amazon. I would greatly appreciate it and enjoy the entertainment. Now on Tuesday, you can check out Diverse Shelves on Clubhouse at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where they discuss all new releases. It's an open forum, so come on over on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and talk about the novels you're excited about reading. Freestyle Friday with the Facebook group ICU Reading and Chatting goes down every Friday on Facebook. If you'd actually like to become an artist in Freestyle Friday, contact Ebony Evans. She is the president of ICU Reading and Chatting Book Club. And if you're on YouTube and you are a reader, stop on over to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. He leaves wonderful reviews that are not only candid, but informative. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the astrology. Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people. E. Ray Taronic with your Thursday, Friday, Saturday astrology for the week of November 21st, 2021. Now, on Thursday, the sun enters Sagittarius at three degrees. The energies are prompting you knowing your limitations. You know, everything has limits, but you can aspire to be more. OK, um, some could be actually looking at a rise in the ranks on this day. If you have placements in, I'd say Sagittarius, I'd say even Leo or Aries. And if you have a rise in the ranks, it would be um, due to you having uh, those placements between zero and six degrees of Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. And you would be rising because of your relationships, maybe your friends, maybe within your social groups, you're rising in the ranks. Um, maybe the goals you're trying to accomplish. But I want you to remember when you're dealing with uh, Roman, when you're dealing with your siblings, when you're dealing with people in your neighborhood, your neighbors, and then your networks of people do know your limits, but you could literally be rising in the ranks amongst your peers and amongst your networks of people if you have those placements. If you have placements between, I'd say, Aquarius or Libra between zero and six degrees, you could be rising in the ranks amongst your uh create with your creative endeavors or because of your creative endeavors um with a romantic partner maybe you get the romantic partner you want maybe your children some people are going from being single to married some people are going from being childless to having a child to getting pregnant you know um your area of long distance travel education and skills what you think and preach is the catalyst for this so it could be because of someone at a distance from you helping you um, with what you think and preach um your education and skills um that that definitely could be an area of assistance and opportunity helping you okay now the moon in Leo at 11 degrees will square Uranus and Taurus at 11 degrees. So a shocking challenge to your worth could surface in some way. Something is coming to affect your peace in some way. Or maybe it's just somebody needs your help, you know, and you have to put in a lot of energy to, to help them. Now, Taurus, where the shock is coming, is your area of secret, sacrifice, solitude, closure. So this is either you working behind the scenes or somebody talking behind your back, gossiping about you. And it's hampering... Uh, it's challenging, you know, you know, your networks of people. They're gossiping to your networks of people causing tension. They're gossiping to your sibling or one of your neighbors causing tension. Or you're working really hard working behind the scenes for someone in your networks of people, a neighbor or a sibling. Either one. It could be either one of those. If you have placements in Leo or Taurus between 8 and 14 degrees. Now, also on Thursday... Venus and Capricorn at 17 degrees is going to sextile Mars and Scorpio at 17 degrees. So an opportunity or some kind of assistance through a challenge will arise. Don't do anything that compromises your morals or your good character because sooner or later, you're going to be found out. And this is a degree of violence as well for you. So you could be out having fun and get into it with somebody. You don't want to do that. You could be out making money. Or you could get into it with someone over money, even a romantic partner, because Venus is about romance, finances, pleasure, and you have an opportunity to garner that, okay? 
through work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to other people. Capricorn is your area of shared finances, endings, new beginnings, things you're passionate about, sex and intimacy. So this is where you're getting the opportunity. If it's an opportunity to, remember I said, talked about your morals. If it's an opportunity to sleep with someone and you have a significant other, you might want to be mindful of not messing around with that because that's an angle of violence here. This, this, this angle. You could be working with someone garnering shared finances though. Don't compromise your morals just to make some money. All right. Um, but if it's good, you know, and it's on the up and up, you could definitely, you know, benefit from it if you have placements between 14 and 20 degrees of Capricorn or Scorpio. Now on Friday, the sun is in Sagittarius at four degrees, and this is an angle of friction or even detachment for couples. Make the connection with your partner. Communicate. Find a common ground where there's no common ground, okay? If, if there's no common ground, then you need to rethink the relationship. Now, if you have placements, I would say, in Sagittarius, Pisces, Virgo, or Gemini, this is uh, between one and seven degrees. This is definitely aspecting you because... Uh, First of all, Sagittarius is your area of uh, relationships and open enemies, okay? Partnerships. You could be, you know, uh, having to look at a relationship in career or in home and family or a home-based business and really uh, see if you can find some common ground there. If not, you need to rethink the relationship, as I was saying. Now, on Friday also... Saturn at eight degrees Aquarius will sextile Chiron and Aries at eight degrees. So an opportunity or some kind of assistance to heal, to heal your area of friends, goals, and social group, will, will, social groups will come in and you're healing because of some type of res responsibility or restriction. Okay. Placed on you at a distance from you because of what you think and preach, because of your education and skills, because of your morals, because of your spirituality. This is where you didn't shirk your duties. Okay. This is where you show great tenacity. And now you're having an opportunity to heal things. Someone at a distance from you is helping you to expand your reach or your message. Okay. If you have those placements between five and 11 degrees. Now, also on Friday, the moon in Leo at 24 degrees makes a faded aspect to Pluto and Capricorn at 24 degrees. So a transformation is not only on the mind, but is prompted at this degree. You could be working really hard, but don't get upset if you don't get the recognition you feel you deserve because it could be short lived anyway. OK, if you have placements between 21 and 27 degrees of Capricorn or Leo, you can expect some type of uh, hard work that you're having to put in to garnering shared finances okay to transform that area of finance shared finances to transform your passions to transform your endings and new beginnings to transform sex and intimacy as it pertains to communication within those sectors as it pertains to uh, neighbors as it pertains to people in your networks of people maybe it requires short distance travel as well to transform this area but either way, that's aspecting if you have those placements. Now on Saturday, there's several placements uh, or, or a few I want to talk about that connect to each other. Now the sun is in Sagittarius at five degrees. Vesta is coupled there in, in, with, with, in, in Sagittarius at five degrees. And Mercury is also coupled there at Sagittarius of five degrees. So this is an angle that's uh, or a placement that's great for creativity. It's great for artists. It's great for authors, you know, entrepreneurs. Um, it, it's where your, your talents can really shine. Here is uh, where you can showcase the value in you, but don't let someone else reap all the benefits. Make sure you're reaping the benefits too. Make sure you're allowing people to, you know, sing your praises. Um, it, it's fine there. Okay. Because if you have placements between two and eight degrees of Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Libra, or Aquarius, that's all aspecting you. The blessings are coming through Leo and Aries, through your relationships, communicating with you, helping you to accomplish goals, helping you to expand your reach, friends, and social groups. It could be friends, neighbors. Maybe um, you have to travel a short distance, but you know to, to get this shine, to go and, and, and speak your truth and things like that. Um, it's aspecting travel across the board, so it definitely could take some travel or you're dealing with people near and far, 
Okay, maybe someone is assisting you at a distance from you with your education and skills, what you think and preach. Let it shine. Go ahead and get that recognition. Okay, it could be a romantic partner, someone within a creative sphere, or even a child. All right, but like I said, it's definitely, definitely where you are allowing your entrepreneurship or your art or your is some type of talent to shine. Now, the moon in Virgo at eight degrees on Saturday is going to make a faded aspect to Saturn and Aquarius. This is a restriction or responsibility that surfaces um, that's somehow meant to happen. OK, you could find yourself working for someone who's kind of dishonest here. or Maybe they're not telling you everything, but you might be a sucker for a damsel in distress as well. OK, no matter the sexual orientation. <laughs> if you have placements between five and 11 degrees of Virgo or Aquarius, you can expect uh, something to be going on in home and family and it's placing some type of restriction on you or responsibility as far as what you think and preach your education and skills your morals your spirituality or something like that maybe you're uh, assisting someone um, by using that you know maybe it's someone at a distance from you but you're using what you think and preach or your education and skills in some way okay and you don't have all the facts <laughs> now around 3 or 4 p.m the moon in your sector of home and family at 10 degrees is going to directly aspect your sector of career and mastery. So this is, could be about a home-based business. This could be about what career. This could be about whatever it is you master in the home. If you have placements between 7 and 13 degrees of Pisces or, or um, Virgo, this is where you're putting in the work. You're putting in energy to be of service to others. Hopefully, you're not having issues with your talents or blockages in your creativity get things done here because there are already slanders in home and family and career or in a home-based business waiting for you to be proven wrong waiting for you to fail prove them wrong and put in the work and do what you have to do if you have placements between that 7 and 13 degrees this is aspecting you i've attached the tarot portion if you need to go ahead and recap with that it's coming up next bye now Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people. E. Ray Taronic here with the tarot portion of your reading for the week of November 21st, 2021. I really like your cards. I want to say that, Gemini. Um, first of all, permeating your reading, you have the Justice card, okay? So, some, this is about justice coming into you or justice being served or maybe you're dealing with the law or some court case or something like that. But the scales are balancing, Okay, this is what this is telling me. The scales are starting to balance for you. Now, this week, you have aspecting the Hierophant card, the, score, uh, death, the Death card, which can be the Scorpio card as well. Um, and as far as Scorpio for you, Scorpio is about work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to other people. Now, this could be about a business organization. It could be about a mother or uh, relatives on the mom side of the family, but I'm reading this as a business organization. And that's what this is about. There's some type of rebirth coming in for you as far as work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to other people. And this rebirth is bringing you in balance, abundance, security. It's a successful car for employment and business. It's a good car for property and keeping promises as well, okay? Um, wow that's wonderful for you okay with that justice coming in on top of that you have the nine of pentacles um aspecting the knight of cups and the page of cups so with that uh nine of pentacles that is already talking about some sort of gratitude you're feeling some luxury and harmony and order restored around you maybe disputes with family or family members being um being settled money woes being over so like i said some of you for some of you this is about family others this is about work and business and you're bringing in new clients or new people new friends who want to help you um some of them could be fly by night especially with the page of cups aspecting they're going to come in offering you things and they could be like people that just want to fling you know I, I, don't don't invest a lot and people who are just new people coming in and out, okay? If you you plan to invest something with them, whether they're a lover or whether they are, um, you know, who they are, friends, people bringing money in, offers in, make sure that you're taking a grounded approach to love and creativity. 
um, listen to some music. Turn some music on and dance around the house. I can see you doing that as well with this card. You know, maybe even going out and having fun with, with friends. Um, but definitely take a grounded approach if it's about you uh, taking on new opportunities and um, working on your skills and stuff like that, is your creativity. Now, you also have the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups talks about you attending to your deeper needs on some level. Having emotional security, having compassion, being intuitive, and even allowing um, the heart to lead the mind um, because it can be more useful than logic with certain situations. But you really need to attend to your deeper needs, especially as it pertains to this two of swords upside down that you have, which talks about some type of confusion or indecision, maybe even information overload. There might be a lack of trust uh, stemming from some type of deception within a partnership, and you're having to stay strong and weather some type of uh, test of faith. Um be direct in your pursuit of answers okay what well, even if this is about money you know that's going to bring you some type of fulfillment some type of legacy wealth some type of family wealth between you and a partner it could be a business partner or even a love relationships okay relationship okay make sure you you be direct in your pursuit of answers now permeating your uh, challenges and advice you have the judgment card and the judgment card talks about examining your own role in situations there being a second chance there being some type of judgment handed down or laid out whether you're judging or someone else is judging but your your challenge is you progressing forward because you're having maybe you're having uh, there's not enough information in front of you for you to move forward to plan Okay, for you to have that progression as far as moving forward because you have that two of wands and that could talk about um, good communication coming your way. Um, but you're wanting to you're wanting you're needing more. You're needing more communication about this uh, unexpected gifts, payout or money from either um, you could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, Moon, or Rising, or this could just be about you if you're a patron of the arts, if you're an artist, you know, for my people in the literary field, you want to plan and, um, let's see, okay, you want to plan and you want to make decisions, maybe even for a reliable partner or this payout, this give and take from this reliable partner, okay, but it's kind of hard for you to plan when you need more information. Okay, what the angels, ancestors, and spirit guides are asking you to do is to take some time for meditation, rest, and reflection. Remember, you're supposed to be attending to your deeper needs, but also work on your craft. Okay, if you want to bring in this emotional uh, stability, because you have this king of cups here, um, that's that it's advising you to, 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 to have emotional balance and problem solve, to be a strong negotiator. Okay, sometimes you could be lost in your own thoughts. Okay, but it's still taking time for you to think so that you can be um, a wise presence around you so that you can be supportive uh, to others. You're going to have to hang on and go through some type of test of faith, but you can do it. You can do it. Just hone your skills while you're doing this. Okay, but you got some justice coming in that's going to help help you out a little bit to push you forward. Okay, um, something is aspecting in that way. Just, just keep on, uh, keep on plotting ahead, and make sure you take time to attend to your deeper needs. God bless you, and I'll see you next week, Gemini. Hello, kings and queens. E. Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. Thank you for tuning in for the Thursday, Friday, Saturday astrology for the week of November twenty first, two thousand twenty one. Guys, I want you to check out Treasures and Spoils. LaToya Chandler, Mental Chatter Musing Spotlight for the month of November, is actually having a Black Friday sale. Treasures and Spoils has a the perfect candle for every season and every occasion. So definitely skip the lines and check out treasuresandspoils.com. You can also check out any of her novels everywhere books are sold. Now for the month of December, we will be spotlighting none other than LaJill Hunt. 
It's going to be a perfectly fine Christmas if you have not picked up the novel yet. Be sure to do so and to leave a review. It is the bookish thing to do. If you have not checked out my psychological thriller, my newest psychological thriller, Deadliest Intuition, now's the time. Leave a review on Amazon. I would greatly appreciate it and enjoy the entertainment. Now on Tuesday, you can check out Diverse Shelves on Clubhouse at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where they discuss all new releases. It's an open forum, so come on over on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and talk about the novels you're excited about reading. Freestyle Friday with the Facebook group ICU Reading and Chatting goes down every Friday on Facebook. If you'd actually like to become an artist in Freestyle Friday, contact Ebony Evans. She is the president of ICU Reading and Chatting Book Club. And if you're on YouTube and you are a reader, stop on over to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. He leaves wonderful reviews that are not only candid, but informative. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the astrology. Hello, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people. E. Ray Taronic here with your Thursday, Friday, Saturday astrology for the week of November 21st, 2021. Make sure you like and subscribe. It lets me know you appreciate the content that I'm putting out. Now, the sun enters Sagittarius at three degrees, and the energies are prompting uh, you knowing your limitations. Um, but also knowing that you can aspire to be more, okay? That you can aspire, aspire for more. And this is your area of communication, siblings, short distance travel, your networks of people. You might find yourself rising in the ranks amongst your networks of people, amongst your neighbors, even. If you have placements in, I'd say, Sagittarius, um, Leo, or even Aries, between zero and six degrees because your partnerships are going to be showing up for you your friends your social groups they're going to be helping you to accomplish goals and that's how you're going to arise amongst the ranks they're going to be communicating with you goals being accomplished they're going to be communicating with you about um you know your maybe even a neighborhood maybe it's a neighbor maybe you're getting a new place you know but you're rising in the ranks somehow um, if you have those placements between zero and six degrees of those signs. Now, if you have placements between zero and six degrees of Libra or Aquarius, you're rising in the ranks with your uh, romantic partner within a creative endeavor or a child because of a child. And it has to do with um, assistance coming your way to help you in a romantic partner or a child or you with a creative endeavor. And it could be a neighbor or someone in your networks of people as well. If you are assisting someone, like a child, a romantic partner, or um, helping someone in your networks of people with a creative endeavor, make sure that you know your limits, okay? As far as, you know, how much you will do. Don't just pour your whole heart out, you know, into somebody, especially if you're not getting anything in return. Um, just be mindful of that, okay? Now, the moon in Leo at 11 degrees is going to square Uranus and Taurus at 11 degrees. A shocking challenge to your worth will surface in some way. Something is coming uh, either to affect your peace or uh, or someone needs your help, okay? Um, and you might find yourself working really hard to help someone, you know? Now, Leo is your area of friends, goals, and social groups. The shocking challenge is coming up to your shared finances, the endings and new beginnings you're trying to create, sex and intimacy, even your passions, okay? So it could be, you know... Um, I would say maybe someone could be trying to block you or hamper your goals or hamper you garnering some shared finances or you're putting a lot of energy in trying to do that. Um, it could have to do with something you're passionate about, you're working really hard on, or maybe a friend is not vibing for you or they're, they're trying to stop you from doing that. Okay. And it would surprise you like, really, you're doing that to me? But if you have placements between that 8 and 14 degrees of Leo or Taurus, that's aspecting you on Thursday, okay? Um, now, Venus in Capricorn at 17 degrees is going to sextile Mars and Scorpio 
at 17 degrees. So an opportunity or some kind of assistance through challenges can arise. Don't do anything that compromises your morals or your good character because sooner or later, you're going to be found out. And this is a degree of violence as well. So you could be out having fun. Capricorn is your area of home and family. So you could be having fun with a romantic partner, making money, um, or even someone in home and family, like a relative. Um, you could be having fun with someone within a home-based business or making money within a home-based business um, as it pertains to your money and your resources, because that's what it's about, your money and your resources. That's your area of Scorpio. So if you have placements between 14 and 20 degrees of uh, Capricorn or Scorpio, you want to make sure you hold tight to your morals. Don't do anything that's, that's, that's shady, you know, trying to make money where you shouldn't be. Um, doing something that you shouldn't. Um, but it, it, it's definitely that, that assistance or opportunity is definitely there for you. Um, don't get into an argument with anybody about uh, money as well, okay? Over money. Now, on Friday, the sun is in Sagittarius at four degrees. So this is an angle of friction or detachment for couples. Make sure that uh, you make the connection with your partner or communicate. Find a way to... Um, Find a common ground, okay? You you need to rethink a, a partnership maybe. And I'm thinking it's either in the area of Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, or Pisces, okay? So if you have those placements between one and seven degrees of any of those signs, Libra, Gemini, or Pisces, then you need to maybe look at your relationships in those areas, your relationships with people you work with that you're of service to in your area of Pisces, people you see during your daily routines, okay, your siblings, your networks of people, your neighbors, people even at a distance from you that you deal with in your sector of education and skills, what you think and preach, um, your morals, your spirituality. You want to look at all of those sectors and make sure your partnerships are on the up and up and everything is all good there. Now on Friday as well, Saturn at eight degrees, Aquarius will sextile Chiron and Aries at eight degrees. So an opportunity or some kind of assistance to heal through or from a restriction or responsibility can surface. Now here is where you didn't shirk your duties or you're prompted not to shirk your duties. You may have to display great tenacity here. OK, if you have placements between five and 11 degrees of Aquarius or Aries, this is an opportunity for you to heal one of your relationships, whether it's a romantic partner, whether it's a creative endeavor with, within a creative endeavor, or whether you're out having fun, you know, hanging out and that's how you heal it. Or whether it's a relationship with a child, it's on the menu for you if you have those placements. OK, now um, just make sure that uh, you put in the effort to do so. OK, um, make sure you put in the effort to uh, 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 take down those walls between you and a partner. OK, now the moon in Leo at 24 degrees is going to make a faded aspect to Pluto and Capricorn at 24 degrees. So a transformation is not only on the mind, but is prompted at this degree. You could be working really, really hard on this day. So don't get upset if you don't get the recognition you feel you deserve because it could be short lived anyway. Leo is about friends, goals, and social groups, and it's directly aspecting the challenge, not the challenge, but the transformation you're trying to make in home and family or even a home-based business, okay? It could be either one where you're trying to accomplish those goals. Keep working hard in home and family and within a home-based business to accomplish your goals, whether you get the recognition or not. Now, on Saturday, there's a few transits that all aspect each other, so I want to talk about those first. The sun will be in Sag Sagittarius at five degrees. So will Vesta, and it's going to couple with the sun. And so will Mercury. Okay, I was talking about uh, Vesta, the Sun, and Mercury coupling together at Sagittarius at five degrees. This is where you want to tap into your creativity. It's a great angle for artists and authors, um, a great day to make your talents work for you. There's value in you. Don't allow someone else to be the only ones to reap the benefits from it, okay? Allow your entrepreneurship to shine on this day because some good communication is going to be coming to you and your devotion to your area of, sh of sibling sales, um, your devotion to communicating with your networks of people, uh, neighbors even, is going to, to show plainly, okay? Your devotion to even, like I said, someone in your networks of people is going to show. Make sure that you're getting credit as well as them, you know? Now, um, 
I'd say if you're going to have blessings come in because of this devotion, it's going to be blessings coming through your area of Leo or Aries, where your relationships are showing up for you, helping you accomplish goals within social groups. Um, or it could be your areas of Libra or Aquarius. And those would be blessings, uh, opportunities and assistance coming into you, communicated to you through a uh, a sibling or someone in your networks of people, or maybe even a neighbor, uh, opportunities and assistance to your romantic partner, to you because of a creative endeavor and uh, opportunities and assistance with your children. Maybe you have an opportunity to get out and have some fun, but this is definitely aspecting you if you have placements in any of those signs between two and eight degrees. Now, the moon in Virgo at eight degrees will make a faded aspect to Saturn and Aquarius at eight degrees. So this is a restriction or responsibility that surfaces, uh, but it's somehow meant to happen. You could find yourself <laughs> working from someone, working, you know, for someone uh, who's kind of dishonest or not telling you everything, but you might be a sucker for a damsel in distress. I know I am, um, <laughs> no matter the sexual orientation. If you have any placements between five and 11 degrees, there's a restriction or responsibility placed on you with a romantic partner, a child, or within a creative endeavor. And it's directly aspecting you behind the scenes where you're going to have to work in your solitude behind the scenes. You're going to have to make some sacrifices there. Um, maybe you're even uh, working on garnering some type of closure, you know, because that's your area of closure and spirituality, too. That's your area of secrets as well. All right. So something is coming up here. Um Oh, and you could be, you know, there's there's secrets there too. Someone could be keeping a secret from you as well. Like I said, not telling you everything, but it's it's meant to be. I mean, it's it's fate that this is happening. If you have those placements in Virgo or, or Aquarius between five and 11 degrees, this is aspecting you. Now around three or 4 p.m., the moon in Virgo at 10 degrees is going to directly aspect Pisces and Pallas at 10 degrees. So if you have placements between seven and 13 degrees, this is of, of Pisces or, or, uh, or Virgo, mind you. This is where you're putting in more energy by being of service to others. Hopefully you're not having issues or blockages to your talents or creativity, but you need to get things done because there are slanderers waiting you know, waiting in your area of work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others for you to mess up so they can be proven right and you can be proven wrong. If you have to work in your solitude, if you have to work behind the scenes and make those sacrifices, do that, okay? Because that's what it, secret, sacrifice, solitude. It's directly aspecting that area of closure, spirituality. You want to bring that closure into you, okay? And prove the others wrong. God bless you. Stay tuned for your tarot portion coming up next. Hello, Libra. Some on a rising sign people. E. Ray Taronic here with your tarot for the week of November 21st. Now, your week is permeated by the sun card. So um, that's beautiful because that brings in some richness, some goodness and some positivity your way. OK, so, you know, that is a good thing. Now. You're being prompted. Well, this week you have uh, the Page of Cups aspected by the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. The Page of Cups is uh, good for creativity. It's about creative influence, maybe even creative new beginnings. You being offered these creative new beginnings. If it's about love, you need to make sure you're taking a grounded approach or anything you're trying to do. Even if it has to do with creativity. You need to be taking a grounded approach to that as well because everything that you want to manifest, that you want to grow, takes grounding. Okay? Now, you're also being prompted this week, and you might find yourself doing it anyway, listening to music because um, the Page of Cups is also about music as well. And you have the Queen of Cups, which is attending to your deeper needs. So maybe you're listening to some music, you're relaxing, you're doing something that's nice for you, you're attending to your deeper needs, okay? Now you could be doing, and you're also using your intuition. This is asking you to use your intuition and allow your heart to lead as opposed to the mind as it pertains to either your... Um, Either a queen of wands person around you, that's a fire sign, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo. Or this is about you attending to your deeper needs as it pertains to your passions, as it pertains to your, you know, you being determined, independent, hard worker, self-assured, honest, um, 
inspiring and supportive of others and lending others wisdom okay use your intuition to do that and to bring that in but make sure that you're attending to your deeper needs okay I, I love listening to music to raise my vibration and to put me in a better state of mind if I feel somebody's affected me and my vibes go low because I have a you know being an empath I have a problem with absorbing others emotions so me listening to music uh, and things like that gets me um, breaks me away from that okay puts me in the right mind state now you're having some type of win or mental clarity or breakthrough coming in as it pertains to some type of in uh, some type of uh, it's a three of swords so it's some type of endings for some some heartbreak sorrow grief a painful situation uh, due to the loss of an ideal or relationship and you're taking time to look within and you taking time to look within and search within you're finding this mental clarity as it pertains to you feeling left out in the cold within this family relationship within these celebrations in the home within this harmony in the home okay you're getting some type of mental clarity about maybe a poverty mindset that you've had regarding the home okay um but something is coming in something whether it's news some type of win public recognition or mental clarity is coming in aspecting that harmony in the home or um you know positive relationships you might even be redecorating too but i don't think this is about redecorating this is about uh, some type of relationship or heartbreak or sorrow within a relationship within the family that's what this is about now you have some type of overwhelming feeling of emotion aspecting you because of something that is coming in something being offered to you or something that is aspecting that is uh coming into you soon you're manifesting some type of material success some type of job some type of um unexpected gifts or investments some money okay um, it could be an auspicious time uh, for uh, business and relationships but you're bringing this in through your passions and your determination you're uh, you're going through you're at the nine of wands so you're going through a period of a test of faith um, and you're still kind of going through that test of faith using you're having courage resilience persistence to make it through this test of faith okay with this courage and persistence um, you know it'll bring you to this this uh, manifestation of this new job these overwhelming feelings of emotion okay that's that's what's aspecting you now your challenges and your advice is permeated by the four of Pentacles and that talks about stability it talks about a home like stability within the home so this might be about you holding tight to your stability whether you're holding tight to your money or you know your stability within a, a situation that has to do with the home now your challenge is you within this creative relationship within this thing that this situation with three or more people it could be about creative creativity or it could be just about a situation with three or more people involved you're being handed some type of offer but the offer being handed you don't want that's the challenge you don't want it because the monotony has set in in this relationship and it's something going on maybe you're just over you're over it you're over this relationship and you're having a problem bringing in your generational wealth your money some type of yeah some type of generational wealth some type of money some type of uh uh, this could even be I want to say family uh, inheritance or something like that wealth um, bringing in happiness among children and um, your marriage or family you know just family in general because you feel stabbed in the back you feel at some sort of loss or endings or defeat and you're you know you're having a hard time moving past that and seeing your um, what's ahead seeing expansion seeing events speeding up seeing money flowing your way you're having those problems because you're still focused on 
what you don't want this cup being handed to you that you don't want now your advice is to open up take yourself out of this state of denial or self-imposed imprisonment because you're holding yourself in the state of self-imposed imprisonment you can come out of this you can have this death and this rebirth and come into this situation to where you are abundant and secure in your world okay but right now you have that those cards upside down okay you have the world card upside down you know well it came out sideways you know so you know your your challenge is is to get these things up right you're having some issues getting these things up right okay with the world car upside down you might be having yourself in a stuck uh, predicament or situation you might be leaving yourself in a stuck uh, predicament or situation because of lack of closure or completion um, you're having a failure to move forward as a result of an indecision or maybe even negativity okay um, you need to address what is holding you back okay because that's holding you back from being an abundant uh, you know person it's holding you back from being a patron of the arts it's holding you back from being um, generous it, this is about an imbalance in familial commitments okay for you this is about a, a miserliness, uh, maybe withholding money, um, insecurity, a lack of trust, okay? And that is all hampering you from bringing that death card in, from bringing that new rebirth in. It indicates an, abil an, 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 an inability to move on from certain situations due to a fierce resistance to change. You got to let go, okay? growth is not going to happen until you let go of whatever no longer represents who you want to be or who you are take steps to release that so that you can garner new opportunities god bless you and i'll see you next week hello kings and queens e ray Taronic here master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers as well as broadcaster of astrology Thank you for tuning in for the Thursday, Friday, Saturday astrology for the week of November 21st, 2021. Guys, I want you to check out Treasures and Spoils. LaToya Chandler, Mental Chatter Musings Spotlight for the month of November, is actually having a Black Friday sale. Treasures and Spoils has a the perfect candle for every season and every occasion. So definitely skip the lines and check out treasuresandspoils.com. You can also check out any of her novels everywhere books are sold. Now for the month of December, we will be spotlighting none other than LaJill Hunt. It's going to be a perfectly fine Christmas. If you have not picked up the novel yet, be sure to do so and leave a review. It is the bookish thing to do. If you have not checked out my psychological thriller, my newest psychological thriller, Deadliest Intuition, now's the time. Leave a review on Amazon. I would greatly appreciate it and enjoy the entertainment. Now on Tuesday, you can check out Diverse Shelves on Clubhouse at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where they discuss all new releases. It's an open forum, so come on over on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and talk about the novels you're excited about reading. Freestyle Friday with the Facebook group ICU Reading and Chatting goes down every Friday on Facebook. If you'd actually like to become an artist in Freestyle Friday, contact Ebony Evans. She is the president of ICU Reading and Chatting Book Club. And if you're on YouTube and you are a reader, stop on over to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. He leaves wonderful reviews that are not only candid, but informative. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the astrology. Hello, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign people. e Ray Taronic here with the astrology portion of your reading. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday for the week of November 21st, 2021. So let's get into it. Oh, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know you appreciate the content that I'm putting out. And you can't do that from uh, Facebook. You'll have to go to YouTube to Enchantress Press Astrology. On Thursday, the 25th, the sun enters Sagittarius at three degrees. 
The energies are prompting limitations. Everything has limits. What are yours? Because you always can aspire to be more. Some of you could be looking at a rise in the ranks on this day, on Thursday. You will be rising in the ranks as it pertains to your friends, your goals you're trying to accomplish, and your social groups. Just make sure you know know your limits with your goals, especially as far as money is concerned. You know, be, be very wary of that or your passions are concerned or sex and intimacy is concerned. Know your limits with that, okay? Because Pisces and Virgo square that area, all right? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, Pisces squares your worth and your money. Virgo squares your share is your share of finances um, or Pisces is your area of money and worth and it squares your your goals and your social groups. Uh, Virgo is your area of shared finances, endings, new beginnings, things you're passionate about. And those square that area of friends, uh, goals and social groups. Now, if you have placements between zero and six degrees of Pisces or Virgo, be careful of that. As far as you rising among the ranks with your peers, that could be your areas of Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. So your relationships would be showing up for you, maybe even a, com a communication with a sibling, a neighbor, someone within your networks of people, maybe a, a friend, someone within a social group, or, or it takes short distance travel, someone that's near, near you. They could be helping you rise in the ranks, and you could be rising in the ranks amongst your peers, amongst your social groups or neighbors. In addition to that, you have assistance and opportunities aspecting as well in your area of Aquarius, which is self, soul, and ego and first impressions, as well as long distance travel, education and skills, what you think and preach, morals and um, spirituality. So you could have someone within a social group helping you to accomplish a goal of expanding your reach, getting your word out, you know, showcasing your education and skills. It, you might even have to travel a long distance, okay? Either one. But that's aspecting. If you have placements between zero and six degrees of Aquarius or Libra, that's where you could be, how, that's where and how you could be rising among the ranks as well. Now, the moon in Leo at 11 degrees squares Uranus and Taurus at 11 degrees. So a shocking challenge to your worth could surface in some way. Something is coming to affect your peace or maybe it's just somebody needs your help okay now if you have placements between 8 and 14 degrees of leo or taurus on thursday uh, you could have a shock to home and family okay with a, with one of your relationships your area of leo and your area of taurus is squaring either you're putting in a lot of effort in your area of leo helping your you know your relationship to thrive in home and family or you've got a clash there a shocking clash with a with one of your relationships as it pertains to home and family. So just be mindful of that um, if you have those placements between 8 and 14 degrees. Now, Venus and Capricorn at 17 degrees is sextile Mars and Scorpio at 17 degrees. So an opportunity or some kind of assistance through challenges arises. Don't do anything that compromises your morals or your good character. Sooner or later, you're going to be found out. And this is a degree of violence as well. So you really need to be cool. If you're out hanging out, having a good time, you know, if you got your significant other with you, make sure you keep your eyes where they're supposed to be or you don't get caught doing something you're not supposed to do because you could get into a fight or an argument or something like that. Now, there is some type of uh, assistance or opportunity that is aspecting here for you to maybe even garner some finances but it might take for you to work behind the scenes to sacrifice some things um it might take for you to hmm maybe you're trying to to gain some type of closure or healing with whatever it is you master or career maybe this is an opportunity to work in career behind the scenes where you're making money just don't do anything uh that compromises your your morals or your good character like i said if you have placements between 14 and 20 degrees of Capricorn or Scorpio, this is aspecting you. Now on Friday, the sun is in Sagittarius at four degrees. This is an angle of friction or detachment for couples. Make the connection with your partner. Communicate. Find a common ground. If there's no common ground, it's time to rethink the partnership, period.
This is the area of Sagittarius. So this is your area of friends, goals, and social groups. It squares your area of Pisces, where your money and your worth is. It squares your area of Virgo, where your shared finances, endings, new beginnings, sex and intimacy, and passions are. It directly aspects your area of romance, creative endeavors, and children in Gemini. So you want to look at all of those areas with friends, lovers, children, people you hang out with, and sex people you deal with with sex and intimacy, or your money. And make sure that everything is on the up and up or things need to change. Now, on uh, that's if you have any placements in those signs between 1 and 7 degrees. Now, on Friday, also, Saturn at 8 degrees Aquarius is going to sextile Chiron and Aries at 8 degrees. So an opportunity or some kind of assistance to heal through or from a restriction or responsibility will surface. This is where you don't shirk your duties or where you shouldn't shirk your duties. Maybe you didn't already and you showed great tenacity and now an opportunity is coming into you to heal communication with a sibling, with a neighbor, with someone in your networks of people. You could even be healing your sales if you are a uh, entrepreneur or something like that. Um, let's see, you could be healing something with someone within short distance travel, but you're going to have that opportunity to, to do so. Okay, if you have placements between 5 and 11 degrees of Aquarius or Aries. Now, Leo at 24 degrees is going to make a faded aspect to Pluto. Uh, the moon in Leo is going to make a faded aspect to Pluto and Capricorn at 24 degrees. A transformation is not only on the mind, but it's prompted at this degree. You could be work, find yourself working really hard, but don't get upset if you don't get the recognition you feel you deserve because it could be short-lived anyway. Leo is your sector of relationships, okay? You might not get the recognition from a relationship that you want for the transformation you're trying to make behind the scenes, for the transformation you're trying to make where you're trying to gain closure. Maybe you don't gain the closure you want or the healing you want with this relationship, okay? But, you know... If you have those placements between 21 and 27 degrees, that's definitely aspecting you. So let's talk about Saturday. Um, on Saturday, there are a few transits that, that relate to each other, so I'm going to connect them all. The sun will be in Sagittarius at 5 degrees, coupled with Vesta in Sagittarius at 5 degrees, coupled with Mercury in Sagittarius at 5 degrees. This angle at Sagittarius at five degrees says to tap into your creativity because it's a great angle for artists and authors. It's a great angle to make your talents work for you. There is value in you. So don't let someone else reap all the benefits of your talents. Allow your entrepreneurship to shine. Your devotion to whatever you master or, or whatever you're doing for your friends or the goals you're trying to accomplish within your social groups even is going to be on full display. So allow people to sing your praises and things like that. Allow yourself to shine. Don't let someone else take all of the credit. Now, you would be if you're getting these benefits in, it would be because of the help coming to you through your areas of Aquarius and Libra, helping you to expand your reach, helping you to uh, express your education and skills, your good morals, your spirituality. And that's that help there. So if you have placements between two and eight degrees of Aquarius, Leo, Libra, or Sagittarius, that's aspecting you. Maybe it's blessings coming in and that's what's happening. So if you have placements in Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries between that two and eight degrees, it's going to be your relationship showing up for your you, your friends helping you to accomplish goals, your social groups, maybe even communicating with your siblings, your neighbors, maybe someone in your networks of people is helping you. Allow them to help you and bring that blessing in to you. Now, the moon in Virgo, at eight degrees is going to make a faded aspect to Saturn and Aquarius at eight degrees. So some sort of restriction or responsibility will surface, but it's meant to happen. You could find yourself, you know, because it's a faded at area. You could find yourself working for someone who's dishonest or maybe someone's not really telling you all the information you need to know. But you might be a sucker for a damsel in distress, no matter the sexual orientation. OK, if you have placements between five and 11 degrees of that Virgo, this is about shared finances, endings, new beginnings, things you're passionate about, sex and intimacy. OK, and it's making a faded aspect to you where it's putting restrictions and responsibilities on you where you're going to have to work out things with sex and intimacy, work out things with your shared finances, work out things with your passions. 
um, maybe even working out things with uh, endings and new beginnings that you're trying to create. Okay, but that's definitely aspecting you around three or four p.m. The moon in Virgo at 10 degrees is going to directly aspect Pisces and Pallas. So if you have placements between seven and 13 degrees of Virgo or Pisces, this is where you're putting in more energy to be of service to others. Hopefully you're not having issues with blockages in your talents or creativity, but you need to get things done. Okay, you need to get things done. As far as your money and your resources, you need to get things done as far as your shared finances, endings, creating the endings and new beginnings you want. You need to get things done as far as your passions, working on your passions. It could even be sex and intimacy because people are waiting to prove you wrong. OK, they're waiting for you to fail in those sectors. So prove them wrong. Put in the work. Do what you have to do. You know, work hard to garner those finances, work hard on things you're passionate about, work hard on sex and intimacy, work hard on gaining the endings and new beginnings you need to gain. OK, check your chart for placements between seven and 13 degrees of Pisces or Virgo. Stay tuned for the uh, uh, tarot portion. I've connected it just in case you need a recap. God bless you guys. Aquarius, I'm on a rising sign people. Eray Taronic here with your tarot portion of your reading for the week of November 21st, 2021. Now, aspecting you for your week, you have the 10 of swords. You got a lot of swords cards. So even though you are a swords uh, sign person, you know, this is this is Gemini, Aries, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. You still have a lot of swords cards. So that just tells me you're up in your head a lot, okay? You need to calm down up off of that just a little bit. You don't want to be too up in your head, okay? You, uh, that'll create too much uh, turmoil in the mind, okay? Now, the Ten of Swords talks about some type of loss, defeat, endings uh, dramatic endings that are harsh um, you'll move past them more easily than they appear um, but whatever has ended needed to end in order for new opportunities to make way in order to make way for new opportunities now you have so, gosh you got the three of swords too so there was some type of heartbreak or sorrow grief or rejection um, it could have been a three-way like cheating situation um it doesn't have to be it could just be um some relationship there's a there's some type of loss to an ideal or relationship that's bringing you some type of heartbreak um you got a lot of choices at your disposal but you're waiting don't be too fanciful of your choices and sit around waiting for someone to come in for some type of communication for you before you move forward before you come down off of that hangman position now you do need to take uh listen to the advice people are giving you and take that and move on from there with um uh, you know if take the information but keep your wits about you because in order to navigate this situation and be successful, you're going to have to be crafty. You're going to have to problem solve. You're going to have to be strategic because you got a lot of options at your disposal and some of them aren't going to give you what you need. But if somebody will be coming, giving you some type of practical advice. In fact, you're going to have some type of mental clarity come in some type of raw power victory or when or mental clarity come in as it pertains to you strategizing or how you should strategize how you should delegate or it's dealing with a, another air sign person okay how you should deal with them but it's it's going to help you through these these this depression this anxiety this um yeah, because you got sleepless nights, depression, anxiety about getting this offer of a manifestation of a new job or some type of money in. And if you get this information in this week and have this mental clarity, you need to make sure that you don't overindulge just because you feel like, okay, this money is coming in. I got it now. I see what's happening. Times are going to be good. Now I can spend. Don't do it. Okay because you really are going to need your wits about you to navigate this situation, okay? Now, you've got a wish, wish fulfillment aspecting, 
from the past about a decision that needs to be made. But like I said, this person that comes in giving you this information, you need to make sure you keep your wits about you in order to navigate this situation because you're not being told everything. Something is being left out, okay? Oh, I hope you got all of that. Um, hopefully, hopefully it was recording. Um, the fact that I was saying that a, a decision needs to be made uh, uh, regarding the past uh, about a wish fulfillment and if you get this call and this information, you need to keep your wits about you as far as this information because it might not be telling you everything. They won't be telling you everything you need to know. You know, even though this mental clarity might be taking you out of that feeling of depression or anxiety or sleepless nights, you still don't need to overindulge or overspend. Okay, be mindful of that. Your challenges and advice is permeated by the Knight of Swords. So you're forging toward passionately what you want. You didn't just need to make sure that you're not too stuck up in your head and distant in your thoughts so much so that you let your mind play tricks on you and that you start arguments and fights with, with others around you. Attend to your deeper needs and don't have fights and conflicts with those around you, okay? Because your problem is going to be having this mental clarity and this breakthrough to come into you about a partnership, um, you know, about being handed something that you want because what you want that's handed to you is something that you or something that's being handed to you, you don't necessarily want it. You got your arms folded to this partnership, whatever this is, aspecting. Now, um, yeah, your, your challenge is getting something that you want out of this relationship handed to you, as opposed to the monotony setting in, in the relationship and you being given the same old, same old that you don't want. Your advice is to communicate with this person at a distance from you or to travel. Okay, so it's either to travel or communicate with this partnership that's at a distance from you because the only way you're going to be able to uh, have this expansion and, and, and foresight to move ahead in order to prepare, in order for events to speed up and problems to be solved, you're going to need to travel or you're going to need to communicate clearly, not angrily. Okay, clearly but not angrily. Okay, and then take whatever advice you get or information you're told and keep your wits about you and strategize from there. Okay, God bless you. I hope this helped. Bye now.